Hello, you're on the Watson Technique channel. Today we're going to tell you how to align a diagonal on a milling machine. For the job, you will need 1. Molar tape 2. Measuring tape 3. Marker 4. And some cardboard. Glue the pre-cut pieces of cardboard on the four sides of the machine. Make a hole approximately in the middle of our first piece of cardboard. Before moving to the next piece of cardboard, it is necessary to press the mode button on the remote control. Switching the modes of manual control, continuous, step, and set distance. And the set distance so that the cutter is over the next piece of cardboard. Always remember that you have to switch the mode, move with set distance, and then make the next hole. In this example, we are working with the M1-1616. So on the remote control, we select a distance slightly smaller than our field, but so that the cutter always hits our glued pieces of cardboard. Thus, we make holes from all four sides of the working field. By connecting the imaginary line between the points, we will get a square, at which we will measure the diagonals. They must be the same. When measuring the diagonal, place the strip of measuring tape a few centimeters higher from the beginning. This way, we will definitely avoid a shift in the measurements. Fix one end of the measuring tape with a ridge on the edge of the hole and measure the distance to the edge of the hole which is on the diagonal. Repeat this procedure with the opposite holes and record the measurements on a sheet of paper. In our case, the difference between the diagonals was 1.5 millimeters. Let's proceed to alignment. For this, you need to remove the protective covers on both sides of the gantry. Loosen the bolts fixing the gantry and the supports. In the control cabinet, you have to disconnect one of the two Y-axis driver controllers. Then, use the controller to move our portal in high mode for a few steps, depending on how much your diagonal is offset. In our case, we made four short steps to even out the offset by 1.5 millimeters. Turn on the driver chip. Tighten the bolts fixing the gantry. Mark the holes that we made when measuring the diagonal in the first case and repeat the same procedure. Measure between the new holes. Perfect. The diagonal is aligned. Put the guards back on and you are ready to go. You can always contact our specialists and they will help you solve any problem you have. This is the Watson Technique Channel, only useful videos from the CNC world. See you there.